from New York City, it's the Wendy Williams Show. incredible weekend. I mean, I gotta tell you something. The star at the Hollywood Walk of Fame, thank you to the Chamber of Commerce in Hollywood. Thank you. Thank you to my wardrobe stylist, Willie Sinclair, who put me in this beautiful Dolce & Gabbana dress. It's a collector's piece, it's like 10 years old and I fit into it, whatever, but Willie, thank you for covering my lymphedema. Morel, thank you for the tasteful makeup. And Dominic, thank you for the beachy hair. Thank you, just thank you. So, so um, we had a film crew there and we're gonna show you the highlights a little later on in the show today. In the meantime, honey, this, th that, that old trick right there on the star, that was only part of the weekend. <laughs> because afterwards, um, what did I do? Let's see, I went to the hip hop club, I went to the strip club, I went to... I taught my son and my nephew how to make it rain. Normally that's a father's job, but he's busy. And then, and then my friend Jason Lee threw me this party and I'm like, how many people are gonna be there, Jason? No, no, you know Jason from the inside scoop, right? Yes, yes, yup, yup. Drake's father was there, Jason Derulo, I had no idea. First of all, the party was at Catch, which is that fish place. And I didn't know where the party was gonna be. I asked Jason how many people, were gonna... Nick Cannon showed up. Yeah, Cynthia and her husband Mike and, and Larsa Pippen was there. Uh, Tierra Marie was there, the singer. Uh, Michael Blackston, the comedian. Like, I, I, they, they brought out cake, the seafood was flowing, it was in a private room at Catch. And I had no idea that, oh yeah, there's everybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, um, who jumped on me? I don't know. Oh, Tiana Taylor. Tiana Taylor and her husband, um, Iman. Iman Sumter. Uh -huh. They were there. And it was like, it was like, my manager, Bernie, was there who yeah. looks. <laughs> now look here now. Now look here now. And look, look, look. When I told you that Bernie should dress like Dennis, Drake's father for Halloween, was I off the mark? All he's gotta do is wear some chains and some like pimp clothes or something. And by the way, Drake, just so you know, I could be your stepmother and your, your father was um, very, very thirsty for the win. That's all I'm saying. Yes. 
It was cute though, but he was very, very thirsty. I saw him out the night before, and then he showed up at Jason Lee's party, and he was there again. And I'm like, okay, Dennis, no, okay, c <laughs> come, on, come on now, Dennis. Come on now, Dennis. As a matter of fact, let's just pose for this picture right here. And Burns is like, oh, and I always say, roll your shoulders and pull your stomach in and let's take a picture. <laughs> look, look, and then I went to the gay club. It's called yeah. Blow. <laughs> look, let me tell you something now. I, you know, cause Jason Lee, he was like, well, we're going to the gay club. I'm like, okay, Jason, you know, I don't know people in LA. I didn't even know 50 people. I was surprised he got that dinner party together and I loved everybody in there, right? Then we go to the gay club and who do I see as soon as I get in the door? Abby Lee Miller in her wheelchair. The dance mom came out out of nowhere. I was shocked, I was shocked. And I'm like, Abby, what are you doing here? She said, Wendy, you know, I wouldn't let you come to the west side without seeing you. I was like, what? So Abby was there, all the gays were there. It was like all, all the gays. Cause let me tell you something, okay? So you know how when you're gonna have a party or you're supposed to be doing something and you're scared nobody's gonna show up? Don't you secretly fear that? No matter how popular you are. So we roll on the block and the Abbey, which is right across from Blow, right? Two gay clubs battling each other. But the Abbey had people all out on the sidewalk and stuff and, and the Blow had nothing. I'm like, this is the story of my life. This is the story of my life. When we walked in, there were three separate rooms with three separate kinds of music and each room was lit, lit, and lit her. It was, I, I mean, Blow had it going on. It, yes, yes, yeah, yeah. And my son and my nephew were so exhausted after the dinner party, cause that's, uh, well, Travis and Kevin. I said to Kevin at this particular point, I'm like, I guess I'm not a cat lady, huh? <laughs> and he's like, mom, you're definitely not the cat lady. You could be anywhere you want. And here you are with us. And this was at the dinner. And then they went back to the hotel afterwards because they were exhausted. And there I go off to the gay club. But, um, <laughs> but look, but it was only the three of us when we went to the strip club and, and, and Jason Lee, you know, he is a mess. <laughs> Um, but we went to the strip club and I'm like, I don't have um, ones. Uh, first of all, I didn't think any of this was going to be happening. Second of all, I think a guy is supposed to go with their father if they wanna go to a strip club, not be so. He asked me like three months ago and uh, you know, three months ago, I mean, as each day goes by, I am stronger, better and faster than ever. But, <laughs> but I have to tell you, right? Um, so he asked me like three months ago, mom, you know, take me to a strip club. I'm like, are you out of your mind? <laughs> Do you see the headlines going on out here? Somebody's gonna call Dyfus on me. <laughs> All right, well maybe you're an adult, they won't call Dyfus, but they'll at least call the cops or something. I'm not going to a strip club with you and I like the strip club, no. Get out of here with that. And then when we were out in LA, uh -huh. Somehow the spirit hit me. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. And so when Jason said, let's go to the strip club, I was like, boys, do you wanna go to the, and they were like, yup. <laughs> I was like, all right, but I don't have any ones and I don't wanna spend money. But you know how when you go to the strip club, they'll bring you a platter of ones sometimes. They bring you a platter of ones and so you spend their ones on the girls. And the girls are copping to their thing like they always do. Miss Wendy. <laughs> I'm like, what, bitch? <laughs> look, look. Um, you know, I got, I got two kids. I'm in nursing school and I'm only doing this. Miss Wendy, please don't judge me. I'm like, I'm not judging you. Look, can you move over to my son? Okay, <laughs> look, and then I'm like, Kevin, here, take this. And the club sent like wads of ones. And Kev's like just dropping them on them. I'm like, girl, come back over here. Do it again. I'm like. <laughs> right? Like, what's wrong with you two? You gotta make it rain. 
<laughs> Suzanne. What? Oh, what? Would you take Jack and Pete to the strip club? Oh, I don't know about that, but I'm so happy for you, Wendy. You got an awesome weekend. Good for you. It was really good. Yes, really it was amazing. Good. And then, but and maybe then I, would take that. I read a headline that I'm dating two men. What? Oh, uh, look, look, I, I, I got trapped by the headline and I scrolled down and who do I see? I know. <laughs> Mort and Ira. <laughs> They are the Demar Mercury, that cat at the end of my show. In other words, the people who produce my show. My bosses. But I was at the restaurant with them, but I, I, you know I always, I always touch and crook arms and stuff like that. I'm walking out of the restaurant in a, um, an Oscar de la Renta dress with crinoline underneath and, um, and stars all over it. Willie did it again, right? So I walk out with the guys and I see, okay, you guys, roll your shoulders, pull your belly in. And here we go. And the three of us walked out together, me and these two white men, right? And, and so, <laughs> I'm dating two men at one time. I can't deal with it. But I just, you know, in conclusion, uh, we have a piece to show you later on, but in conclusion, I do wanna thank everyone for supporting our show. Uh. <laughs> Okay, so Lady Gaga fell off the stage in Vegas. Did you see this? All right, well, she invited a super fan on stage. She knew he was there. She invited him on stage, and here's what ha happened. Come on, come on, get Jack. Now say now, now see now. First of all, Gaga is a very small woman. She might weigh 100 pounds, but it doesn't matter. The guy was crying and then Gaga brought him back on stage and told him don't blame himself. Take a look at oh. <laughs> this. Did you just forgive yourself right now for that happening? <laughs> <laughs> she seems like such a nice woman, you know what I'm saying? Not the Gaga part, but the Stephanie part. She seems like such a nice woman and she just wanted him, I think, in my mind, she was trying to protect him from some of you who might bully him because you're jealous. <laughs> because he was the one up on stage with Gaga. Although I can't ma imagine like a, a jump for no reason. I've only been jumped one time. And, and, that, <laughs> and it, didn't, it wasn't a full jumpation. And that was Tiana Taylor. Remember she came on the show? All I'm saying is hello. And she's trying to jump. Yes. Like, no, no, no. She had no idea that she was not dealing with a stabilized woman. In the meantime, last night, she, all of her hair um, was, was sheared off into finger waves and she came from the studio to, for dinner and then she left for the studio um, to go back to the studio. But Tiana, you are, you are something else. And, and regarding that guy, that guy, that guy um, who jumped on um, Lady Gaga, uh, poor thing, he deleted all his social media. And I don't blame him for what happened. She was excited, he was excited, and he lost his footing. In the meantime, she did do a full ice bath afterwards to swell down, and <laughs> that looks painful. And then she did, uh, she did that for five or 10 minutes. Then she took a hot bath for 20 minutes. Uh-huh. And then, 
<laughs> and then she used a compression pack with ice for another rest of the night or whatever. Well, you gotta swell down when you fall off the stage. Has she been in our fall of shame yet? Um, I don't, you know what, I bet she has been. I remember her falling another time. I thought, I saw like three different copies uh -huh. of you this weekend. Oh, three, 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 three different, different copies of you. Really? Yes, this How weekend. How dare they? Yes, Who yes. Are these people? Yes, yeah, well, that was LA. <laughs> They're like three different news I saw this weekend. And at first, because I squinted, because like DJ Booth and Marco showed up out of nowhere. <laughs> and Marco had on a full three-piece suit. Marco, you know you were well overdressed. <laughs> But you're single, so I get it. You're always trolling for something. And then Boof showed up and, um, but yeah, no, I, uh, thank you, Boof. <laughs> Boof, wait. Wait. Boof, you went to the club with us, right? No, I went to Vegas after. Okay, <laughs> okay. Marco, were you at the club? No. no? <laughs> you all literally came in for the ceremony and left. Aw, thanks guys. In the meantime, Lisa, and shout out to all the Wendy watchers who were out too. There, was, there were like over a thousand people flooding the streets and, and they were everywhere. People had on tiaras and leopard print. There were guys with no shirts on, girls with only pasties on. Like my people, I know my people. Yeah, everybody showed up and turned out. And then, and then that triple decker TMZ tour bus rode by and people were like, how you doing, how you doing, how you doing? It rode by real slow. And then another tourist bus in LA rode by. It, it was just, it was really something else. It was, it was really something else. It was really, really, really something else. Good neighborhood too. I'm near um, um, Lee Daniel and um, Ryan Murphy and Bob Hope and yeah, exactly, and some other people too. But I'm not in the dead zone, like way up there. I'm in the I'm in the party district of it. Yeah. Oh. <coughs> Look. And then the Chamber of Commerce, in addition to getting this, every October 17th is gonna be Wendy Williams Day in Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. Yup. Yup. That was a big one, too big for me to bring out, but yup, every October 17th. So now, I'll be parking on the sidewalk. Uh -huh. I will want free food. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I love you more, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. So, um, while I was in my suite, waiting for the next events to go on, I was looking and see what's going on, you know, the news that we like. <laughs> and then I saw that Lisa Ray McCoy is claiming that Dwayne Martin broke up her marriage. Oh. Well, I didn't know where she was going with this headline, cause, um, <laughs> Dwayne Martin, um, mm hmm Norman, I'm not looking at you. Don't look at me. No, don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> but when I saw the headline, I was like, oh, <laughs> well, do tell. <laughs> then it turns out she says, Lisa, <laughs> Lisa Ray and Dwayne starred in that sitcom, All of Us, from 2003 to 2007, remember? Yeah. Well, her ex-husband, the former prime minister of the Turks and the Caicos, the one that was trapped in the bed with Roxy, and then... Allegedly. <laughs> from, from, allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. <Right. laughs> allegedly, from the BET. And then Lisa Ray beat her... <laughs> silly. Allegedly. And allegedly, he's the one who allegedly had something going on with um, our friend, um, Nicole Murphy. Oh. Nicole denied it, but Lisa insists. Well, now she's insisting on a whole lot. Oh. Now, I missed this last night. I was watching the Married to the Medicine. 
Um, and, and trying to you know, swell down all the flying and stuff and dancing and hoopla and stupid feet. Anyway, um, I missed this last night though, but it came on, t clap if you saw TV One with Lisa Ray last night. Oh. oh. Well then it is my pleasure to bring it to more people. Take a look. When I introduced them, that was one of the worst things I ever did. I became disrespectful with introducing my husband to different women, and women that we actually knew as friends and associates. Yes, you know my dirt as my brother, as my friend, but you my friend. I introduced you to him. What are you doing? I'm still kind of confused about that one. So needless to say, me and Dwayne don't f with each other at all. F him. F him. <laughs> now, what she was saying is that, that Dwayne introduced him to other women and she's uh, su suggesting that Michael went with these other women and that's how, you know, the cheatation began. You know what, but Nene and I were on the phone yesterday for two hours that I will never get back in my life. <laughs> So she, hi Nene. So look, no, no, look. Um, so she called me, she was in DC in, in the storage room of her store. You know, she's got the, the kimonos and she's got stuff. She has, anyway. So she was busy working, right? She, so she called me and um, we were talking and we got on to poaching friends. I don't like friends who poach friends. But like if you're my friend, Suzanne, if, if, you, if you and I are going out, yeah. right, mm -hmm. and, and I introduce you to a third party, yeah. and that third party and you change numbers, yeah. Ooh. dead to me, both yeah. of you, dead, oh, yeah. dead uh -huh. to me, dead. Yep, I'm the selfish friend, mm -hmm. and I will be bold enough to admit it. If you're my friend, you're my friend. If you wanna get with the next friend, then you call me, so we can all three be friends. That's it. I, 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 like I'm selfish like that. I don't want. I don't want to introduce you to somebody and then all of a sudden you change numbers with that mm -hmm. person. Are you out of your mind? Mm -hmm. Just saying. <laughs> Lisa Ray, I don't know what you're promoting or why you're doing so much talking recently, but we've mentioned you at least once a week for the past few weeks. So keep it going. And we got more great show for you, everybody. Up next, we got the inside scoop on the ooh, the Todd Presley drama. So grab a snack and come on back. I'm shocked. It's a full story. Okay, all right, all right, look, look, enough, enough. It's time for the inside scoop, and here to dish is entertainment journalist AJ Gibson. AJ, this is very important. Yes. Okay, um, co host. Let AJ speak and listen to the gag. There's a lot to get go through ahead, here. Go all right, ahead. we're talking Todd Chrisley, all right? I saw this on Dr. Phil while I was awaiting my next party over the weekend. Yeah, and it keeps evolving, the story does. So reality stars Todd uh, Chrisley and his wife Jewelry, uh, Julie have charged, have been charged with tax evasion, right? Uh, okay. In federal and state level, they've been charged uh, back in August. Now they say that Todd's estranged daughter, Lindsay, Todd's daughter, not Julie's, it's from his first marriage. Uh, she had an improper relationship with a tax investigator in the state of Georgia and ratted out the family and got this whole thing rolling. Uh, Todd and Julie have been indicted by the FBI. Uh, the claim is that they defrauded banks and took out uh, loans illegally and did not pay federal taxes. These are all major, major accusations, right? Uh, also, the state- Well, but how are they gonna maintain that, that lifestyle? Well, I, I know. They've got a lot to maintain right now. They're, they're a household name. They've been around for a while. Uh, also, the state charges claim that they owed $2 million uh, yeah, and taxes falsely claiming that they lived in the state of Florida when allegedly their house is in Georgia. Now, the state of Florida, there's no income tax. So that's where that is coming mm -hmm. into play. They're saying they're getting away with this money that way. Uh, they just settled state charges. The federal charges are still ongoing. But Todd and Julie blame, this is where it gets really juicy, they blame his estranged daughter, Lindsay, uh -huh. uh, saying she was having an inappropriate relationship with the tax investigator from the state of Georgia. Is by she name. single? She is not. So she reconciled Wait, with now, her Now, hold husband. on now. No, she and her husband split. 
she and her husband split for about a year and a half, but they are they reconciled last year. Okay. Now he's claiming an inappropriate relationship. He's not saying that she had a sexual relationship, just something that was inappropriate uh. um, with this man named Joshua Waits. He was the man investigating the Chrisleys at the time. Uh, they also allege that she put the government on to them, um, and now she's giving insider information to this man to take the family down. Oh. Yeah. yeah. In the meantime, the wife, Todd's wife, is playing a very, very composed woman. She's totally by his side. She is the, she's the dutiful wife, the Southern Belle. She is standing by her man uh, and against his daughter, Lindsay. I was kind of shocked that nobody has called Todd out, if you know what I'm listen, saying. Listen, listen, Wendy, how you doing? <laughs> Look, no judgment. The whole family, to me, is a bit of an enigma. I don't really understand it. I don't really, it's not my cup of tea, if you know what I mean. I don't get the show, I don't get the appeal, but. I like it, I like his mother, I, I just. His mom is fun. You know what I like about the show is that I'm squinting at Todd the whole time I'm watching, and he's a friend to the show, and uh -huh. we've talked about this on the show, but I'm just saying. Yeah, he, I mean, he's a great guy, yeah. yeah. I, I, look, I, no comment. No okay. No comment, Wendy. No, I've interviewed him as well, he's a great guy. It's he just is. the dynamic, I don't understand it. Well, some women put up with that. You are, you are absolutely right. Anyway, so what's Lindsay saying? <laughs> so Lindsay has a lot to say. She, de she denies having an improper relationship with this Joshua Waits, the tax investigator altogether. Uh, <laughs> she does admit to having communication with him via calls and texts, but she says she's never actually met him in person. Uh, she also claims, this is where it gets even, like, we're gonna ramp this up a little bit. Can we do that? Yes, please. All right, she claims that Todd uh, met with her recently. She thought he was meeting with her to make amends, but instead, he tried to extort her with a sex tape of her. Right, her I saw father. that on Dr. Phil. Yes, Pell. yes. Go ahead. So he, 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 threatened, <laughs> he threatened to expose the sex tape and photos that apparently uh, show her having uh, sex with uh, Bachelorette star Robbie Hayes. Now you're gonna shut up. You know, yep, there he is. You know him from the Bachelorette, Bachelor in Paradise. Um, and <laughs> so uh, if he doesn't drop this whole tax case thing, he's gonna take this and take, go public with it, apparently. <coughs> um, Robbie has now spoken out and said that this was a complete accident, this sex tape, they did not make it on purpose, uh, that he and uh, Lindsay were actually hooking up on a friend's couch, and the whole incident was caught by the puppy cam. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is the story, this is like an entertainment journalist's dream. This okay. story is the story that keeps on giving. Jason, we've got a clip from Dr. Phil, let's yes, see. Yes, check it out. While we're on the topic of lies, let's talk about the social media stuff that I've endured for the past two years from you and your two minion children. And then that's when I got the warning that Chase had incriminating evidence against me, nude photos, and had obtained this tape for $5,000. Your father told you that his PR team was going to put out a story and the story was that you were sleeping with a government official and told him lies about your family. Yes. You were not a whistleblower that turned the federal government onto your family's wrongdoing. No. Did you want to bring Chris Lee Knows Best down in flames? No. AJ, Ooh. you're gonna stop right now. No, there's, there's, there's so much more. Okay, well, what does Todd say? Okay, Todd is saying that he actually never tried to extort his daughter, that he did not threaten her with any sort of sex tape. Um, and, and, and he says in there, Dr. Phil says, uh, calls it a sexual relationship. Todd is just saying it was an inappropriate relationship. He wasn't saying that it was actually sexual. Uh, he thinks that she's lying about the whole tax situation. She also thinks that she's lying about the vet investigator, Joshua Gates. He thinks um, that the investigator pursued her to get information, and so they're actually suing him because of that, and they're Exhaustive. not suing Lindsay, but Lindsay is working with his team, Todd's, her father's and her, and her uh, stepmother's, in order to, uh, as a witness right now. She's not being sued, though, but she has turned over all of her text records with Joshua Waits, the investigator, for the last 18 months. Oh. To Todd and his wife, that indicates that she, it, it says two things, one, she was actually in a long-term relationship with this man, if there's 18 months of text messages. And two, mm -hmm. they say that these text messages prove that she was, in fact, trying to take down the Chrisley family. It's, it's, it's a lot. Yeah, now a spokesperson for Joshua Waits, the investigator, says these accusations are unfounded and that all of their uh, tax investigators are completely are you fair single? and impartial. Am I? Yes. Girl, I've, been with, I've been with my man for seven years. Okay, now. Well, uh -huh. AJ Gibson, everybody. Uh -huh. Pick up a copy of AJ's book, it's called Flipping the script, it's on Amazon. Trendy at Wendy is next. <laughs>
Hot Topics and Trendy at Wendy. Here is our friend, Mako Zuvo, who is back <laughs> on the show. So good to be here, thank you, as do you. With beautiful things to show us for Trendy what? at Wendy. 100%, so everything we have here is from it's our cooling. friends at it's cooling. Lala. Yes, let me tell you all about it. This oh. is the Infused Memory Foam Wellness Standard Pillow. It is cooling, it comes in four different scents. So there's the aloe vera. Scents? There's, yes, scents, they're very light though. Oh. Very light, yes. Uh -huh. Aloe vera, there's the uh, eucalyptus, yeah, right? They smell great. Okay. <laughs> so the thing about these pillows is it does have the removable cover, but it's very soft, very breathable. These and are the, really good. They're really good, right? This the oh. pressure relieving memory foam, yeah. right? Yeah, that's what gives you that comfort. Gives uh -huh. you a good night of rest. Now these normally retail for $72. No. Oh no, Wendy Watches are getting them today for 72% off. You're getting them for $19.99. Worth it, yeah. worth it. Yeah. So Great after, price. after you slept, you woke up, you want to do your makeup. Let's mm, talk about these brushes. makeup brushes here. In containers. In containers. This is the Zoe Ayla 12-piece professional makeup brush set. Yes, you're getting 12 sets. Look at that big uh -huh. powder brush. So good. Like so, it. of course, you get the, the makeup brushes, but you also get Which the travel case and one. the container as well. Yes. For realness. For the <laughs> no, you know. You know. Exactly. You know. Well, that's we do with our brushes, we use it for our hair, we use it for our eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. The bristles, by the way, are hypoallergenic and antibacterial, which is really nice. And you can choose from white or teal. There you go, get all up in there. Yes, nice. looking gorgeous. <laughs> all right, so these normally retail for $59.99, but Wendy Watch is great news. You're getting it for 50% off, it's $29.99. This is good. Brows, right? Yes. It's good. It's good. Mm -hmm. All right. 29, you 29 said? 29 99 That's this the is magic worth it. price. That's totally worth, worth it. Worth it. Well, now that you have your makeup brushes, mm. you got to look at yourself in the mirror yeah. and just take in all this beauty. Mm. So this is the Just Own It Spotlight HD Ultra Bright True Daylight Makeup Mirror. Yes, get up all in there. This is the beautiful thing about this mirror is that, look at these lights. They're super bright, but the magnification as well. You're getting Oh, my gosh, I see everything. And that's a good thing, right? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, I've got boogers. Wait, please, please. <laughs> No, oh, wow, no, no these, these are, are these are beautiful. The mirrors are amazing. What's also beautiful, of course, is the light and the fact that it's portable. So you can put this in your bathroom where you can take it with you if you travel a lot for work. This is right? really good. This is really worthwhile. I it mean, absolutely. I, you know, I'm sitting here joking with you, but this right here, how much is this? So this normally retails for $150. No. But Wendy watches, you're not paying that 73% off. This, choose from three colors, $39.99. There you go. Yeah. This is good. It is. I've been using it all weekend. I'm this is really good. With this. All right, let's talk about skincare, because really the good key to having good makeup is your skin. Yes, that's the infuser tool that you're holding. I'll tell you about that in a second. This is the 50 times apple and grape stem cell age, age defined day and oh, night set. All right. Yeah, you feel right the here. vibration? Right here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's the, Define. that's Define. the define, define. <laughs> yes, you gotta get the neck and the face. So what is this stuff? So this is the day and the night concentrate. So you use small amounts, and you put it on your face in the areas that you need. So it, like, it's, it covers your, your skin day right and here. night. Like, yeah. like this right here. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not having that. <laughs> like, get, go away. Exactly. Go. Go away, go away. <laughs> so the infuser tool really go gets away. that cream right in there. Exactly. So this normally retails this entire set that you're getting. Oh, this is a known brand too. How yeah, Prairie Paris. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then how much? So this normally retails for $500. But Wendy Watchers, for the day and the night concentrate and the infuser tool, Just listen. 90% off. It's $49.99 for the whole set. <laughs> right, right? Yes. Really, really good stuff. All right, let's move on to our next item. So these are the Z-Tech wireless earbuds with the I love these. charging cases. Aren't they great? Yes. How fun are the colors? This makes it so easy to find it in your bag. Yeah. Yeah. So you're getting the earbuds, of course, so they're Bluetooth, so you can always stay connected when you're on the go, whether you're like walking your dog or, you these know, just good. hanging out. These are No wires. No wires, and that's the thing. No cords and a whatsoever. Cute case. That case is more than just cute. That's where you charge your earbuds. So you're always connected all day long. Oh, really? Yeah. How yeah, much yeah. Is this? So this normally retails for $79.99. No, but what? Wendy Watchers, you're getting it for 75% off. It is $19.99. And last, but certainly not least, our I good. smell diamonds. Diamonds, darling. All right, so this is the Suzy Levion 14K 0.25 carats total weight diamond studs. Now I'm wearing them right now. Well, I'm they wear are some super too. cute, aren't they great? I diamonds are a girl's best friend, and you just can't go wrong with this piece. They're ageless, they're timeless, wow. and with the holidays coming up, these are a perfect oh. gift to give. These will totally be a bestseller, aren't they great? They compliment you so well. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh-oh. I love a good diamond piece. Me so too. These normally retail for 1140 oh, I know, that's stop. a lot. But guys, wait, there's a real diamond, so that's why. Yeah, but okay. Wendy Watches, you're getting them for 78% off. They are $249.99 off. See, this is worth it. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, our friends at Rula Law, for these amazing deals. Go to Wendy Show. Dot com before they sell out. Get everything. Oh, yeah. Treat yourself. Mm -hmm. Up next, see my star um, ceremony. A bit of it. Oh. Welcome back. It was such an honor to get my star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. I absolutely, it's, one of the best days of my life. Just take a look at some of it. Now, Hollywood, we've done it. Here I am in Hollywood. The first time I've ever felt like I belong here, but the day has come. I still can't believe that this is happening. Oh, I'm getting my star. People are gonna be giving speeches. What are they going to say? No one could be more deserving of this honor than Wendy. She is the friend in our head. Congratulations. To earn a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame is a big deal. I gotta tell you, a connection you made with my mother. I don't know if I told you the story. My mother was in her 80s. You watch Wendy Williams every day? Every day. So mom, in the Hot Topics, she's talking about these people that you don't know. You've never heard of any of these people. She says, I don't wanna know any of those people. I just wanna know what Wendy thinks about them. And then I have to give a speech no longer than three minutes. Like, three minutes? How about three seconds? I am so nervous. If I don't laugh, I'll cry, so I'll keep it light and laughter -y. Hustle is what I know. Determination is what I eat every morning for breakfast. If you don't believe in yourself, who's gonna believe in you? My first professional radio job was in 1986. By 1988, I was in New York, and I knew I never wanted to leave. As far as television, they were like, we want to take you and put you right in the middle of your own talk show. I can't believe they really just want me to be me on TV. I have to say, if I was a girl who just played by the rules, this would not be happening. I like to have fun. You know, and 11 years later, I still like to have fun. I'm a straight shooter. I say it like I mean it. Now look. The elephant in the room is that I've been having a very, very tough year. But it is, it is so, it's slowly but surely, I'm climbing out of uh, the pit. And this is one of those monumental days. The number one thing that I hope happens today is that my son really looks and squints at his mom. I want to give some love to my son, Kevin. It's me and you, kid. And then privately hugs me and says, I'm real proud of you. Mommy, you're doing it. That's the number one thing. Thank you, Kevin. I feel like I want to make all the people who believed in me proud today. I want to make them proud. My fans, I don't even Without you, none of this would be going on. The total fail of today would be if I fell down. <laughs> The thing about the star is that it's not an award. It's not like getting an Emmy or an Oscar, something that you just take and you put on your bathroom sink. This is a big deal. This is historic. It'll be there forever. There are only 2,676. Today, there'll be 2,677. That would be moi. Whoopi has a star. Oprah has a star. Now Wendy has a star. Wendy, we couldn't be happier for you. Congrats. It's been a long ride, and we want to go 10 more years. We've had a great time. 10 more, I agree. Congrats. Now, Hollywood, we've done it. It's been fun. It's been fun being celebrated. I'm at my third party of the day. I'm jumping on the plane, going back to New York to do what I do best, be Wendy. Will for whipping this up for me. Thank you so much. And there, there are three things that I forgot. Like, I'm such a critic of myself. I've always been that way. You think you're hard on me. I'm harder. There are three things I forgot. 
in the excitement. I forgot to thank my mom and dad specifically. I just said family. Mommy and daddy, thank you for inventing me. <laughs> I, I forgot um, 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 to go back to the star after going to all the clubs and stuff. I wanted to go back when no one was there just to look at it. I forgot to do that. And also, I said I've only been unemployed for two months, and that was a mistake. I've only been unemployed in my entire career for two weeks. Yeah. The hustle is real. It was a great day, I'll never forget it, and we'll be right back. Welcome back. It's time to race the clock. Let's meet our player. What's your name, where are you from, and what do you do? How are you, Andy? How are you doing? Michelle from Houston, Texas. You having a good time? I sure am. Now, what do you do for yourself there in Houston? Well, I am a clinical application specialist. I travel teaching uh, clinical um, medical devices. Okay. Mammography. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Well, Michelle, here we, Michelle, right? Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Oh gosh, what a day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're gonna have 30 seconds to race the clock okay. and here's your question okay. and you should know this. Okay. All right, Tina Turner. All right. The musical is coming to Broadway. Okay. Tina has 17 songs on the Billboard Hot 100. Name four of them, go. Okay, what's else got to do with it? Okay, one. I'm your private dancer. There you go. Uh, Michelle. We don't need another Three. hero. Three. One more. Uh, um, uh, uh, private dancer. Uh, Symphony of the Mouse. There you go. We'll be right back. Oh, I'm sorry. They're from Jackson, New Jersey at Great Adventure. They're from the Bronx. They're from Queens. And they're from Houston. Where are you from? And why don't you come here? The tickets are free. Be my, one of my co-hosts, wendyshow.com. It's a good time. We'll be right back. Did you tell about the diamonds in my ring? Oh. Okay now, tomorrow, the stars of the BET drama, The Oval are here. I got you covered with the hot topics. I love you for watching, and I'll see you next time on Wendy. Bye-bye. Nice.